Hello everybody, my name is Tesman and welcome to another Inzid Wild Adventure. So, we're currently camping in Gravel Harbour. Um, looks like the wind has dropped it back, uh, according to the forecast from four days ago. So I'm just going to have some blue cod breakfast that I caught yesterday, and then continue around to the southern end of Devil Island. <laughs> and I've just spent the last 20 minutes looking for my hat, because I threw it on the beach yesterday and then uh, left it there, thinking that it had probably washed away last night in the high tide. I uh, just walked along the beach in the back looking for it. They decided to look in the water where I threw it. <laughs> and there it is, pinned to the ground. Lucky me. I don't think I could survive without a hat out in the sun. That fish is beautiful. Alrighty, all packed up, ready to get wet. Looks like it's sort of 20 to 25 knots that way. So we head out the harbour and then turn left. Let's go. Got a bit of reception at the southern end of Devil and um, got the weather forecast. So I think I might head back home on Wednesday. It's now or something. Uh, so a few more days. Um, I think I might go further in towards the French Pass and camp somewhere on the beach on Devil. French Pass. Perhaps we'll try a spot of fishing down here. That's fast. <laughs> Five and thirty-three. Come down this, twist it to your loop, transfer to the right hand, run loop, push down on that one. Very nice. There's a lovely little, lovely little waterfall. How nice is that? I think we camp here tonight. Freshened up the other side as well. Alright, tin tilt set up. Lovely spot. Just gonna move around some floor panels because I'm pretty sure it's not happy. It's quite uh, bendy in that um, one spot. Oh, believe it or not, these bits aren't supposed to look like that. I've switched them around and moved them further forward so now they're here rather than about here somewhere. So hopefully that's a bit better. Still a little fixable and these side pieces will probably need to be replaced at some point. Gonna see if I can catch a fish off the beach just around the corner. Just gonna walk along here. Talk about a lot of shrimps. <laughs> that's all of the shrimps. Looks pretty deep off these rocks. Some flat mussels here. We have a castle to up here.
So for dinner, I just finished with the blackout and made some pasta and made a tomato sauce stuff. So it's just simmering away. Just gonna add the fish. Mm. So that's pretty well done. Mm, that's good. Unfortunately, I left the bung out a little bit last night and the waves washed some rocks inside. Ah, looks like I'll have to take the boat apart after all. Seems to be working well putting it back together in the water actually. All back together again with no rocks. <laughs> Time to go over to the next place. It's just like a river. Te Aumiti, or French Pass. Wow. Some pretty good waves. Dreamy. Look how fast it's going. Oh, my house. Woohoo. Go take a look at the town. French Pass Town. Sitting there pretty happily. Got a little campsite. A bit rough though. Trying to decide whether to bash my way around there to Forsyth Island or go back to where I was camping before because it's sort of like 20 to 25 knots southerly. So it'll be across the wind and then directly into the wind. But it's, I don't know, it's, I feel like it's a bit rough to stay here. Go for it. Even though it's going to be horrible, it's going to be horrible going back to where I was by French Pass anyway. So um, I'm just going to be a bit of a bash as the wind and that. Look for another campsite further along the coast.
made it to a uh, camping spot. Yeah, that's what we hope for the next few nights. It's actually not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be quite a lot bumpier. It's a bit windy though, I, don't know, I was hoping, but it's fine. Yeah. A few early wheels, but not too bad really. I've actually camped here with Arvid before about seven years ago, um, so it's quite nice to re revisit the spot. See what goodies are lurking under the water. I think it was moving in the wrong direction, but this one looks, this one looks legal. There's another one. Now it does a bit smaller. Yeah, much bigger. <laughs> that one's not got much of a disguise on, does it? That's a bit bigger. Put these two back because they seem the smallest. <clears throat> And we only need two. Very nice spot. There's actually not that many power on the beach, just like a few larger ones. Um, probably only seen six or seven, but two is plenty enough for me. They sure are legal. I'll leave it there until the tide comes in. Time for some dinner. After hiding from the sun for a little bit, let's go see if we can catch a fish. Gorgeous day. We'll try to drift along this island first. around and see what's around the place. It almost feels tropical. It's so nice today. There's a very short gap to the other side. I might go check it out. Hopefully there's no riparian rats here. But it's only a few meters to the top there.
But only one went down. It was actually pretty steep. <laughs> There's some metal stuff. They look a little bit like anchors. There's another one. Ship this looks a bit like Kauai. Yep, there's a Kauai. Kauai's my favourite, so I might have to try to catch one. Uh, nope, I think I scared them under the surface. What do you reckon these are? Extremely soft. Some sort of egg, I guess. Small ray. A lot too small. It's quite a big red crab. Ow. <laughs> At least we did see him out <laughs> in the shallows. Just waited for the morning for the winter day back and it has quite a lot so we'll just fish our way back home and um, might have a little troll for a kingfish and maybe try a grouper spot that dad put me roughly onto so yeah see what we can find small tight little rip going through it other than straight just gonna try my luck for a kingfish trolling around this bay Oh, no luck on the kingfish front, so I think I might uh, head further on and see if I can do a drop for a grubber. Um, still no thunder, so I very much doubt that we'll catch something, but it'll be fun to try. the end. Well it looks like I didn't put enough uh, braid on the reel. <laughs> I um, counted 18 colours on the way up and I guess that's about 180 metres uh, as inaccurate as that is. But no big deal, I'll just head in the shore a little bit, maybe try 160-ish metres, but it's, it's a guess at what depth I am. Drop number two. I don't want that drop either. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a small fish on. Yep. Really large scarfy. See if I can catch a kahawai or something on this. Oh. 
nice size cowboy. About 20 minutes from home now. It's um, it's quite a lot wetter than I was hoping it would be through the northern entrance, but other than that, not too bad. But it's been a great trip though. Caught plenty of fish and ate plenty of food, and the weather's been awesome, so I couldn't have asked for any more. Um, but thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like the video and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next adventure.